benchmark for further uh, tests we're going to do later on in the video what I'm doing here is measuring the voltage of my body using this voltmeter uh, connecting one lead to ground at zero volts and measuring the difference between that lead and the lead right here connected to my fingers which is essentially measuring the voltage of my body and as you can see right here my voltage is somewhere around three volts and definitely not at its natural electric state and uh, things to be aware of that are affecting this voltage are the outlets and the appliances that are plugged into these outlets these wires that have live electrons and electricity running through these wires are creating a magnetic field around these wires and if that magnetic field comes in contact with my body it's going to create a voltage in my body which is what you can see here in this reading but um, ways to avoid that are either by moving your bed away from the walls that have outlets and I'm disconnecting your appliances from the outlets in the wall and also sometimes you have the, uh, the switches that control the outlets in your room as I have right here and right now it's turned on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this uh, switch off which is going to turn the outlet off which is going to drop my voltage considerably so all these things are things you want to do prior to grounding out your bed sheet to have the, the best uh, results while sleeping grounded. In this how to I'm going to show you how to ground your body to the earth while you sleep to help maintain your natural electric state throughout the night. And uh, as you can see, I've come up with two different options to ground out your bed sheet, either using a window screen or some foil tape. I recommend using a window screen because this is going to create a larger conductive surface and more surface area between it and your skin. And this will actually yield better results. Uh, one thing to note is that the, uh, the skin is actually uh, not extremely conductive. So the more surface area you can create, the better results you're going to have. So after you've decided how you're going to do that, the next decision is where you're going to plug into ground, either through the uh, grounding port in the plug in your wall or through a uh, stake in the ground out your window. Um, I've tried both and uh, I actually experienced better results through the stake in the ground. So if you have this means, I would recommend it. but. Um, if not, people have also had remarkable results through the uh, plug in the ground. One thing to note with this is, I've actually read the reviews of people who've uh, used the uh, grounded bed sheets online, and um, there's quite a few people who have also had uh, more remarkable results using the stake in the ground. So once again, I would uh, recommend this if you have the option. Alrighty, now to create the uh the grounded bed sheet using the window screen, we first want to lie down uh, an extra mattress cover, as you can see right here. And next, we're going to address the, the window screen itself. You want to find some window screen that has the, uh, the silver appeal to it. You don't want any of the, uh, the black coatings on it because that's going to affect its conductivity. So what I've done is I've cut it about a little bit wider than the width of my body and about the length. Uh, from my uh, shoulders down to my hips and now I'm going to position it on the bed where my shoulders sit about right here and my hips sit about right here. The reason I've cut it to uh, fit in this area is because this is where you're going to accomplish the most contact and surface area between your body and the bed. So now that we have it in place what we're going to do is take uh, the grounded wire and what I've done is I've stripped off about the, uh, the last inch of the insulating coating and I'm just going to take it and feed it through the screen about four lengths in and then I'm just going to wrap it around there like so. 
nothing really special to it. Just want to wrap it quite a few times, so uh, make sure it's not going to fall off. And now that we have the wire hooked up, our, uh, our screen is essentially grounded. And now all we got to do is uh, secure it into place. What we're going to use for that is some duct tape. Duct tape is, is real uh, strong and it's also soft so you're not going to feel it and it's not going to make noise at night as opposed to using masking tape or something like that. So I'm just going to place it over the edge about half on the screen, half on the bed sheet and just push that down. Give it a nice push. Make sure it makes a good bond. And then we're just going to continue doing that. Alrighty, now that the entire perimeter has been covered, you want to inspect it to make sure that none of the, uh, the wire edges have poked through. And sometimes you'll find a few spots where it has. And what I do is I just take a little piece of uh, duct tape and just patch it up. Uh, you're ready to put the bed sheet back over to the, uh, the screen. Alrighty, to create the uh, grounded bed sheet using foil tape, you're going to want to pick up a uh, roll of this foil tape at the hardware store. It usually costs around uh, five to seven bucks and there's quite a bit. It'll last you a while. You can ground out quite a few uh, different beds with this roll. So what you're going to want to do next is kind of measure or gauge where your, uh, your butt sits in the bed because most of the surface area happens between your your butt or your hip and your shoulders. So I like to run a piece of tape from this uh, this hip level up to the top of the mattress and down to the box spring. And I've actually already pre-cut a, uh, a length that is about this size. And uh, so I would just run it right down the center of my bed and make sure it's going to, uh, to reach the box spring there at the bottom. And what I like to do is fold over a little piece down there at the box spring and this is where we're going to actually hook up our ground wire. So that is going to go down there at the uh, box spring and then I'm just going to tape this onto my bed. Alrighty, so here I'm going to show you how to hook up your ground wire to your conductive bed sheet. Here's the, the top side of the mattress with the, uh, the tape going all the way down to the edge of the, uh, the bed sheet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this strip wire, strip off about an inch of it, and I'm just going to wrap it up starting at the very end of the, uh, the piece of uh, conductive foil tape. I'm just going to wrap it up really tight until I get a thickness that will fit real nice into my, my clip. So I got a nice little quarter inch to half inch thickness right there and I'm just gonna put my clip on there to hold it all in place. There we are, good to go. Alrighty, now to hook up your uh, grounded bed sheet to uh, a plug, you're gonna wanna buy one of these generic gutted plugs and uh, basically how it works is you just, you have these screws that hold it in, you unscrew those screws and I just fed the wire through the back side and uh, attached it into where the third prong, which is your, your ground. And these are essentially where your, uh, your live wires would go, but we're not using those. So there's gonna be no uh, live electricity going through this. So nothing to be worried of there. You're just basically going to be feeding your wire through, plugging it into this bottom ground. It's just tighten the screw with the wire in there and you're good to go. Alrighty, so now I'm going to show you what I use for my stake. It's something easily found around the house and it works very well. I just use a uh, simple coat hanger and I just cut a, uh, let's say like, whoa, cut like a, um, basically as long as the length of you of a length as you think you can push into the ground depending on how hard your soil is. I'm gonna go with about eight or nine inches right around this length right here. So 
now that I have my uh, my stake, what I want to do is I want to sand down the uh, the outer coating because this can definitely affect the conductance. They they put an outer coating on it so it doesn't rust or oxidize or anything like that. And we want to remove that just to uh, make sure that it is going to uh, to be conductive. Just take a little piece of sandpaper. It doesn't take much. And what I like to do is uh, put a little head on it so it's easier to push into the ground. Just like so. And then we're going to take our wire that is to be attached and strip off the end once again. And um, what we're going to do here is use a zippy tie once again and all right so now that that's not going anywhere we're going to attach the wire onto the stake by just wrapping it around and then I'm going to apply just a small little piece of electrical tape just to seal it up make sure it stays on there I like to wrap it real tight Alrighty, now as a uh, safety precaution, we're going to install the inline fuse to prevent any possible electrocution in the case of uh, electrical uh, surge due to either electrical short in your house or possibly even a lightning strike. And like so, we have installed our inline fuse to protect us, which is nice to know is there. Alrighty, now I'm going to show you how I like to uh, run my wire out the window and still keep the full function of the, uh, the window itself. So I got all my slack, including my stake, and I'm just going to keep enough slack inside so I still have enough to do everything I need to do in here. And I'm just going to toss my slack out the window, and I'll deal with that on the other side. So now we have a wire running through and since it's so thin as I was saying earlier, should be able to get the screen back in. As you can see the, uh, the wire is able to run through the outside of the screen and the window. And I'm just going to take my stake wrapped up my extra wire and I'm just going to stake this into the ground like so. Now you may be asking yourself how am I supposed to ground if there's a layer of fabric between me and the conductive surface? Believe it or not the conductivity can actually travel travel rather effectively through a layer of material and as you can see with my elbow resting on the conductive surface and me hooked up to the voltmeter measuring my voltage. The voltage is ad actually rather low considering that the outlet on this wall is actually turned on. And as I go to turn this outlet off by turning off the switch, watch how my voltage spikes as my foot gets near the switch giving off a large EMF field. And then as I turn it off, and the outlet goes off, my voltage drops lower than it's been throughout this whole demonstration. And now if I wanted this voltage to get even lower, what I would do is increase the surface area between me and the conductive surface by lying down. And as you can see right here, this is the lowest reading we've had yet, at about 0.25 volts. And this Remember that I have a shirt on and the mattress cover on as well. If I wanted to reduce this voltage even more, 
by removing my shirt and taking another reading, you can see the voltage drops even more. To eliminate this voltage completely, what I would have to do is relocate this bed to a new area in the room where there's no outlets that it's pushed up against and there's no appliances plugged in anywhere near it. And if I were able to do that, I would essentially have my voltage very, very close to zero, emulating the natural effect of me sleeping outside on the ground like we have for thousands and thousands of years. And that is essentially exactly what we're trying to do by sleeping grounded and harness all the benefits that we share with the earth and our symbiotic relationship. So please give it a try. Let me know what you think. Share your experience in the comments and enjoy your new sleep because it's amazing.